Hello students, welcome back to Clarity Concept, Analysis and Conceptual Learning. Today we will continue the lecture on hydrostatic force on the plane submerged surface. We were understanding about if a plane surface is submerged into a fluid, what is the amount of force that is applicable on that particular surface due to hydrostatic pressure and we have also calculated the magnitude of the force, right, which was around PC into area A. Now today we are going to look at the center of pressure, that means the point of concentration of this particular force. So where exactly is this force is located? So let's say I have this pool of fluid and where the free surface is somewhere over here and I have the inclined plate which is at an angle of theta from the free surface of water and I will just mark. So this is you are seeing it from the side view so you will just look at the thickness but when you look from the top you will see something like this. So an irregular shape kind of surface has been drawn and I uh, will put the coordinate y and z. And now let's say that pressure at each of this point is different because of the different depth. And we have seen that if I have a small elemental area on the surface of the uh, uh, boundary, and on the surface, I mean on the plane surface and uh, the small elemental area is let's say dA, just dA. And the pressure over here applied is pressure P. So there will be a small force applied on this particular small area is dF, isn't it? And we have also seen if you talk about the cumulative value, the cumulative value goes to, uh, the, the total force on the surface goes to uh, PC into A. Let me just show it to you. PC into area A. Where PC is the pressure at the centroid point, centroid of the surface area. So this is PC basically, right? And where A, what is A? A is the total area of the surface. Now the question was this force is located at a point called,